can't get this in the app. You got to get it live from Court Clopping each and every morning. So what are you seeing this morning, Court, that is making headlines? Yeah, uh, Kelly, this morning we're seeing another chilly start and heading through the day. We've got some changes being ushered in. So chilly start at the top of our alerts because it's going to be the big impact you're feeling right when you head out the door this morning. We've got some limited shower chances ahead for today and stronger north winds developing through today into tonight and lasting into midday tomorrow. So that's going to be the bigger impact later on today into tonight and tomorrow, and that will drive elevated fire danger concerns as well. A live look outside this morning, the Sundial Bridge in Redding, where it is a brisk start to the morning. Redding right now in the 40s. So if it's one of those days where you want to get out for that fresh air, you're going to be contending with the chill in the morning, but then the winds in the afternoon. So it's kind of a pick your poison type of day for that. Mid morning into early this afternoon looks pretty good for you, though, no matter where you are. Temperatures right now, 40s to mid 50s in the valley and foothills. We're in the 20s to 30s in our mountain zones. For the most part, Weaverville just bumped back up into the lower 40s. Northeast wind to 7 miles an hour in Red Bluff right now. Winds out of the north up to 25 mile an hour gusts by mid afternoon. 30 mile an hour gusts possible tonight and still seeing those gusts in that 20 to 30 mile an hour range through early to midday tomorrow before those winds taper off and then they're back mostly out of the south by Friday and they're pretty modest at that point. 20 mile an hour gusts not out of the question but it doesn't look like we'll necessarily get all the way there. Checking in with the satellite and radar some thin clouds brushing inland so far and you can see some showers working into the coast of Oregon right now as this cooler system starts to track inland. So we've got high pressure to our south keeping a lot of that moisture to the north, but then this cooler system rolling through to our north today into early tomorrow. And that's what's going to leave us with that chance for some scattered shower activity, mainly south of the Oregon border, just to the south, I should say, and some limited clouds in the valley. And then on the back end, we'll see those gusty north winds developing. So early to midday, clouds increasing, cloudiest skies by around noon, showers mainly north of Shasta County. Might see a little something brushing the far northern end of Shasta County mid-afternoon and then tracking into Lassen and Plumas or Modoc counties later this afternoon. So could see a little snowfall on the peaks like Mount Shasta. Mostly sunny early tomorrow and mostly sunny through the day. And then we'll see mostly sunny skies for the better part of Friday. Might see a little cloud cover here and there. And then we do see more cloud cover and the chance for showers returning with a cooling trend Sunday into early next week. So a big change of pace as far as that's concerned. Temperatures today will end up mostly in the 60s for the northern mountains, low to mid 60s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades. Foothill area is expected to end up in the 60s to mid 70s, 73 in Paradise, 71 from Megalian Forest Ranch. 76 degrees for Redding today, but the rest of the valley, upper 70s to lower 80s with those breezy north winds developing throughout the day. So again, temperatures for most of us ending up slightly warmer this afternoon than the last couple of days. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Temperatures pretty similar into Saturday, upper 70s to maybe lower 80s through then. We'll see some sunshine Thursday. Some clouds early to midday Friday before clearing out and then mostly sunny skies and dry Saturday. So pretty comfortable with the exception of the north winds today into tomorrow and then a drop out of the 60s to 70s Sunday with shower chances. Could see some showers extending into early next week, but we'll see cooler temperatures 40s in the morning, mid to upper 60s in the afternoons. That is a pretty big change of pace. Kelly, you've been talking about breaking out those warmer layers. Get those sweaters ready. It looks like you're going to need them. Duly noted. That's on the to-do list, Court. Thanks. It is